So I want to ask everyone um, one more question about you know, what do you wish more people knew about? What do you wish more people understood or realized about what it's like to be a childhood cancer survivor or the parent of a childhood cancer survivor? Children with cancer is not a happy topic to talk about. So it feels a lot of sorrow, a lot of sad, a lot of anxiety that we talk about here. But when I look at my life, I don't have a sad life. I don't have a life that I regret or that I think that you know could have been better. I have a really happy life. I have a really fulfilling life. I have a different life than what I would have had if I had not had cancer. Um, but that's okay, because that's what the, my life is. And so I hear, uh, in general, people will talk about pediatric cancer as just, you know, um, a lot of a lot of tears and just, you know, kind of that ache in your heart that you hear about and everything. And, th and there is that. That is a big part of it. Um, but, uh, you know, I, when I think about my story, that the end result is I have a great life. And uh, I, I'm not looking for anyone to feel sorry about my story or anyone to look at my story and, and have regrets about it. Uh, there's there's complications, there's always gonna be some worry and anxiety, but overall it's a fulfilling, happy life. And that's you know my outcome of my story. The funding is one that I'm just so astonished by. It's, I mean, there's virtually no funding and there's so many different kinds of childhood cancers, um, but also that the journey really isn't ever over, that the anxiety is always there and it's always in the back of of our mind and will be in. It's, I mean, it's changed our entire family. My, my daughter was one when he was diagnosed. So like cancer has always been in her life and she, she, she'll she talk cancer and that's not usual for a four-year-old, but yeah, the journey will never really be over.